Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And of course, those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what's going on with your current romantic situation. So, whether you're single or coupled up, we'll go ahead and see what the cards reveal for you. There's also going to be a part two, so an extension made available to this reading. And you can access that via the extension link, which will be provided just below the video here. I also want to mention for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed uh, just below the video as well, where that extension link will be made available. And just wanting to remind you all that this is a general reading here, guys. So please just keep that in mind. Otherwise, let's go ahead and let's find out What's going on with your current romantic situation? What is it that you need to know perhaps about yourself, about the connecting energy here, or just about the situation in general? Okay, so this is a reading for all water signs once again, which is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Bottom of the deck, you have the Moon card here. Below that, you have the Eight of Wands. Now, this is interesting, but for some of you, I do have this... I do get this um, message that I feel like there is someone here who may be romantically involved with someone else, that I feel like this person and this particular energy also happens to have feelings for you as well okay it could also be the other way around perhaps you are in a romantic relationship or in a connection in a marriage or in a partnership here with someone else but you may be starting to catch feelings or develop feelings for someone else i do you know get the sense of three here which is a bit of a crowded number and it's a little bit imbalanced so it feels like there's more than just two in a connection here it feels like there's more than just two people involved here now um for me, it feels like there is someone here who is a little bit unsure of how to approach the situation. Because this could be an individual that is romantically involved with someone else. They may be in a relationship, they may be married, or they may be in a connection with someone else. But I feel like this person also has developed feelings for you. And I feel like the more that they see you here, the stronger that those feelings grow. And this is where the confusion comes into place. Because I feel like... This could be a professional setting here, a professional space. This is someone whom, I don't, mean, I don't know, maybe you work with this individual. Maybe they're a client or you're a client of some sort. And it feels like this person here is internalizing their emotions for you. So they're not externalizing. I don't necessarily see them making a move just yet. But I do feel like there is going to be some movement here in this particular area. I do feel like um, this person might be coming forward here and acting on their emotions. But there's a sense of attraction. I feel like it goes beyond the physical attraction, okay? I feel like this person is someone who is... This is someone who is very intrigued by you. They've never met anyone like you here. And it feels like they feel a little guilty for feeling this way from what I can see. But at the same time... Um, they can't help what they feel. Now, they may also have recently come out of a romantic relationship, okay? They may have gone through and they may still be going or they may be about to enter this tower moment which we see in the energies, in the cards here. So a breakup or a disconnection or a separation. Um, and then I feel like, unfortunately, this person is going to go through, you know, a string of emotions here. Uh, grief, uh, grief. Pain, hurt, loss, betrayal, rejection. I feel like there's going to be a whirlwind of emotions here. But they'll always they'll also have you on their mind here or in the back of their mind here. It may not necessarily be good a time a good time to pursue things romantically with this person because you don't want this to be a rebound connection, right? 
but it feels like maybe, you know, once the dust has settled on this tower moment that we're seeing in the energy, I feel like that's my, uh, when they may approach you here. It could also be that, you know, you maybe, you know, are falling in love with this person or you're catching feelings for this person. And maybe this is someone who is currently going through like a breakup or a separation. They may still be contacting, like in contact with the ex. They may still be trying to work on things with the ex. But at the same time, there's you and they have feelings for you or they're romantically interested in you, you know. And it feels like someone here is really torn. They don't know what to do. It's just this emotional tug of war. There's their ex or their current partner who represents the past and the connection they've established you know with them and then there's you who represents all the glistening promises of the future here and this person is just pulled this way and that way uh, which i guess would explain how they may be um, how at times they are sending you mixed messages here now if you are single here i do feel like there is a new romantic energy that is coming in for you and it could be that this, again, I feel like maybe this is someone who has recently come out of a, a separation. It could be that this is someone who is, you know, still involved with someone else. But it feels like that might end for them. It feels like this is a connection which might come to an end, okay? I, I feel like there's some sort of tower moment that I'm seeing. I don't, it could be for you though. I don't know if this is a tower moment that is related to you or if this is a tower moment that's related to your energy but it feels like three all of a sudden is going to become two so three was a crowded number three was imbalanced but it feels like i don't know if this is a third party situation some of you are involved in and the person that you're involved with, with is going to be dropping the third party for you here or they're going to be choosing you because i feel like to me it feels like someone here is attached to someone else but they're wishing it was you. They're thinking about you. You know who this is here. Because I feel like you have feelings for this person as well. And it's a shame because something about them not being available. Or the timing not being right here. Something is getting in the way of what potentially could be. Um, something very exciting, something very promising, something very genuine and something very long lasting here. I feel like this is someone whom, I don't know if this person reminds you of your childhood here or I feel like there's a lot that you have in common here with this individual. This also feels like a soulmate connection. Now, you may have only met this person just recently, but you guys get on very well. There's just so many similarities that you have and it just feels like you've known each you've known each other for quite some time even though you haven't you know um it feels like they just feel familiar it's almost like you know what they're gonna say next or you guys are finishing off each other's sentences it honestly feels like a soul honoring connection here um so in part two of the reading we're going to explore the movement that is coming in with regards to this particular situation here because I do feel like three is about to become two. It may be because of the effects of the tower moment, a separation. I don't know if this is connected to your energy or to their energy. We'll explore in part two of the reading who this is. Um, yeah, I feel like three, the number three is coming up very strongly here. I also feel like someone here is about to say something. Someone here is about to communicate their feelings. Someone is about to tell someone how they really feel. Or at the very least, I see this individual, no, I see this individual opening up and making a move. So I don't know if it's you here, or I don't know if it's your person here, but there's definitely going to be, you're going to be making headway. There's definitely going to be a breakthrough. So we'll explore exactly what this is in part two of the reading, um, what sort of movement of progression is happening here, and more about this tower moment. And perhaps we'll just see if we can determine whether this indeed is a soulmate connection, you and this person. Something about the timing, guys. It's a shame because another time, another place, this would have been great. This would have been wonderful here. Timing's a funny thing, isn't it? They get you, though. This individual just gets you. 
they're really attracted to you here and I feel like this is someone who wants to come forward here but I feel like there's something here that is getting in the way and this is where I feel like it's a relationship or a connecting energy all right guys um, so follow me um, via the extension link below here if you're interested in uh, part two of the reading for those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to um, inquire Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention, your support. It's greatly appreciated. Um, bye for now.